what's going on guys in this video i'm going to show you how to set up the emulator called flycast on pc this emulator plays dreamcast adam is wave and naomi games in this video we will be playing dreamcast games okay guys the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to 7zip.org link to this page is in the description below and we're gonna download this so we can extract the emulator then we're gonna head over to github.com. This is where we're gonna download the emulator. Link to this page, also in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and scroll down. And under assets, you wanna look for Flycast Win64 2.1 zip. Click on it and your download should start. The file is now downloaded and I have saved it onto my desktop. Now we need to extract this file using 7-zip. So what you wanna do is right click on the file, go to 7-zip, and extract the Flycast Win64. This will create a new folder containing all of your extracted files. We no longer need the zip folder, so let's right click on it and let's delete it. Now go ahead and open that new folder. And the only thing that will be inside is the actual emulator. Let's go ahead and open it. Okay, let's go into our settings, which will be in the top right. And then look for content location. And we're gonna go ahead and hit add. This is gonna allow us to add where our games are located. I have mine in a folder on my desktop, so I'm gonna select desktop, and then I'm gonna locate that folder, which I named Sega Games, right here, and then select current directory. Now to have better picture quality using this emulator, right here where it says cable, we're gonna change this from TV to VGA. Now let's go over to controls. So I am using an Xbox One controller with this emulator. And the thing I like about this emulator is that it will map your controller out for you. And as you know, the Y, B, A, and X buttons on an Xbox One controller are in the same location as a Dreamcast controller. But let's say you would like to change some of your buttons around. Then next to Xbox One S controller, click map. And here you can unmap and map the buttons to your own liking. And down here under Dreamcast device, Device A, B, C, and D is basically controller one, two, three, and four. So if you would like to change controller one, which is device A, from a Sega controller to a light gun, keyboard, mouse, twin stick, or ASCII stick, you can select that here. I'm sticking with Sega controller. Now let's go over to video. Under rendering options, this is totally optional, but if you guys would like to play your games in widescreen, then you can go ahead and check widescreen. Now, we'll let you know this will make some of your games look stretched, but I'm gonna leave it on just so you guys can see what it looks like. Let's scroll down. Again, this is totally optional, but if you guys would like to see how many frames you are getting in your game, then you can go ahead and check show FPS counter. For the graphics API, I just leave it at DirectX 11, this works fine. Now if you are getting bad performance in your games, then you may want to come back and switch this to OpenGL or Vulkan and see which one works best for you. For the internal resolution, I'm going to bump this up to 1440, that's three times. This can go all the way up to nine times if your PC can handle it. And for texture upscaling, I'm just going to bump this up to three scroll all the way back up and we are done here so go ahead and click done and you will notice when you come back to the main menu of the emulator you will have your games displayed with cover art now let's load up a game go ahead and select the game you would like to play And if you would like to enter the settings menu while in game on an Xbox One controller, it's gonna be the select button. It may be a different button depending on what type of controller you're using. And from here, you can enter your load states, save states, settings, and ejected disks, and cheats. So if I click on settings, it'll take you right into the settings menu. <laughs> 